YouTube, what is up? Right now, we are going to talk about the string fish, which looks like this, in Animal Crossing New Horizon. Now this fish has probably been the most difficult fish for me to catch. Um, if you look at my inventory, while trying to catch a string fish, I have caught two golden trout, two chars, and one, two, three, four, six sturgeon, and a football fish just while trying to catch this thing. It's a pain. Now, let's take a look at the Critterpedia just so that you guys get an idea of, well, why it's a pain to catch. First off, it's only available four months out of the year, January, February, March, and December. So this fish here, obviously Animal Crossing got released March 20th. Uh, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, this fish will be going away here in a few days. Uh, it is, let's see, the 23rd today, so we have about a week left to catch it. And on top of that, if that isn't difficult enough that it's only available for, you know, a third of the year, you can also only catch it after 4 p.m., all the way up until 9 a.m. the next morning. And if that isn't difficult enough, you also have to catch it in river cliff tops. So, when you add all that together, that means you have to have at least a ladder or be able to build paths. You have to be on when the fish is actually available to catch or to be caught. And it has to be either Ju January, February, March, or December. Now, as you can see, I'm on a little deserted island here. This is actually like a wonderful deserted island to try to catch this fish because all of the rivers on this deserted island, oh, excuse me, are actually on cliffs. So you'll always have a chance at catching, um, you know, these fish. And this is actually like the perfect deserted island to catch golden trout, char, and cherry salmon if you need those. And then, you know, you can also catch the sturgeon down there to my right. But this uh, string fish, the shadow is going to be a large shadow. So what I've been doing is really just trying to scare all the small and medium shadows away. So we'll go just down here real quick, see if we can get something to spawn up top. Just give it a second since I just caught that fish. Um, we'll just make a cast down here just for the sake of giving it a second. And then we're going to go back up and see if there's any fish up there. This is basically what I've been doing. I haven't been using any fish bait, although I definitely could be. Um, but since this island's so small, uh, you know, I've just really been running around, you know, from one end to the other, scaring a lot of the fish to try to, um, you know, catch it that way. But as you can see, I also managed to catch four tires in the process of trying to catch this fish. So uh, I've been here a little while, and, uh, well, I would say it's been frustrating. Uh, I've caught a lot of bass and a lot of other fish I didn't want to catch. The good news, however, is that with the string fish, since it is the large size, it's it's either going to be a string fish or it is going to be a bass. There is no other fish in the rivers um, that are that size, at least not during this time of the year. So, you know, you do know that and, and you can scare off the little fish kind of like I was just doing. Uh, that's a little fish trying to get like a bigger one to spawn up here so we can see what it looks like in the water but um, it's really not cooperating here for me so we'll give it one more try like stand over here for a second scare this little fish off all right we scared him we'll scare this one at the bottom just to try to force the uh, issue up top by scaring the fish is all it's doing is it's forcing it to spawn new fish, which means it's, you know, a faster spawn of a large fish. And instead of catching all the little ones, um, you know, I'm just not wasting my time. So as you guys can see, here's a bigger shadow over here. Um, I am going to give this a try. Maybe I get incredibly lucky and catch two in a row. I don't think that will happen, but hey, it's probably a bass. But uh, this is the type of shadow you're looking for. Come on. Nah, it's a bass. So you'll also know it's a string fish because the controller will give you a more uh, aggressive vibration when, when you're reeling it in as compared to the bass. And it actually does that with all the rare fish. Um, so if you have, you'll feel it in your controller. The, uh, the vibration will just be more, if that makes sense. You'll know it when you feel it that it's a, uh, it's a rare fish. So 
I am going to head out of here. I mean, unless there's a big old fish off the pier. Well, there is. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. We can catch a tuna. Let's see. What a lippy. Ah, it's not anything rare. My controller's not freaking out. Uh, football fish pretty good, though. I don't think I want to even take this, though. Unless... Alright, we'll, we'll swap it with a piece of clay. <laughs> Alright guys, so I would appreciate it if you would drop a comment. Let me know if you have caught a string fish before. This has been the most difficult uh, fish for me to catch so far. I also would really appreciate it if you guys would drop a like on the video. And if you'd please subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks, and good luck catching a string fish.